What's going on, you buddies? Mitch here. And today I want to talk to you about something that's really been on my mind. And I know it's on a lot of collectors' minds. It's something called FOMO. What's FOMO? It's fear of missing out. So we're going to talk about that today. All right. So with FOMO, there's plenty of YouTube videos. There's plenty of collectors that have all talked about this issue. And really, I feel like it's one of those uh, subjects that every one of us YouTubers, if you're starting a channel or whatever, like I am, you got to talk about FOMO. It's kind of the rite of passage. Anyways, I know there are tons of tips about how to overcome and deal with FOMO. There's budgeting, there's limiting yourself to a single bookshelf. There's saying, like I said, budgeting of not spending any more than, uh, you know, $50 a week, $50 a month, whatever it is. Or there's a, I'm only allowing myself to pre-order or I'm only allowing myself to collect certain uh, topic it, or uh, characters or uh, writers or uh, publishers if you're into I only do Dark Horse or Image or I only do Marvel or DC. There's tons of different things you can do to overcome FOMO. But if there is one tip I could give you, one tip I could give you, it would be to wait. I know that goes against everything us collectors like to hear any everything us collectors uh, like to do is to wait on a book especially nowadays when if you want that DM variant and if you don't go on at uh, at my time it's noon on Tuesdays for uh, whatever website you're using you know, uh, to order your books if you want that DM variant and you don't go on there within sometimes like two to three minutes I've seen or five, 10, 15 minutes. If you miss that window, that version is gone and it is only going to skyrocket in price. But the thing is, one, it's only a dust jacket. So when you're reading it, most of the time, most of us take it off. Doesn't matter. Most of the time, the spine's exactly the same. Sometimes the character art on the bottom of the spine slightly different. It's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. But what I like to do is if I am on the verge, kind of going back and forth on, should I order this book? Do I really need it? Am I just suffering from a fear of missing out? Because everyone I know is buying this book. Everyone seems interested in this book, but I have no idea what the story or characters is going to be a blind buy. Or maybe it's a double, a triple dip. Sometimes I've seen people quadruple dip. Uh, but if I can wait, the window of 24, 48, 72, God forbid, one week. If I can wait that time and I am still verging on wanting to get that book and I am still thinking about that book, ideally, if I can wait six months, I know that's insane in today's world, but really, once you get going, it takes forever to get through your backlog. And if you let that backlog stack up, I know I have, you're never gonna catch up. So what can you do? Read your backlog while you wait, while you think about that. And if you're still thinking about that book a long time from when it went live, then it's probably a book that you really actually do want and you're really actually interested in and you probably will read. So what you can do is then you just wait. There's eBay, there's Mercari, there's uh, OfferUp, there's Facebook group marketplaces, there's everything, there's Reddit. You can get that book anywhere. And most of the time, six months later, even a year later, it's not that much more expensive. Sometimes you can pay 40 or 50% off a uh, day of, and so you might be paying cover, maybe even slightly above cover. But if you're saving yourself money by not buying four books and you buy that one book that you really do want, in the long run, you're actually saving yourself a lot of money you're saving yourself a lot of heartache in uh, being stressed about your backlog and being stressed about where am I going to put these books on my shelf or in my closet? Am I going to be stacking them up on top? What am I going to be doing? I know I have books, a couple of them stacked up there. I have books in my closet. I have two three by threes and a two by two calyx in my closet stacked up. 
I love looking at it when I go to change clothes in the morning. I can just kind of stare at my books and I can pull stuff out. And right now we're a bunch of us are working from home and I'm working out of my bedroom in an off makeshift office in there and I can look over and I can see my stuff, my geek stuff, my nerd stuff, my Funko Pops, my my uh, my books, tons of stuff like that. And it's kind of fun. It's kind of like my home office. But then again, it's taking up a ton of space. And do I really need everything sitting on shelves, collecting dust, when I could just have the room, have that money, and when I wanna actually read it, and I find way down the road I actually wanna read it, I can just afford to go buy it, and I have the space, and I have the time, and I haven't the stress of my backlog holding me back, and I know that I really do want it, then I go buy it, then I purchase it, then I can be really excited about it. I know it's not as fun as getting hauls weekly, daily sometimes. Uh, I know I see people post pictures where they have like 20, 30 bucks a month, books, not bucks, books a month that they've got piled up and they have these epic haul pictures. I know on my YouTube channel I have, and my Instagram I have tons of haul pictures, tons of uh, haul videos, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, am I able to read through it all? Yeah, I'm excited and I really do actually want to read it. But how long is it going to take me to actually get to it? And by then I might have come across a sale of someone else who goes, oh crap, I, I uh, fell susceptible to FOMO and I bought the entire run of Berserk and I read the first one and I went, yeah, not for me. And then they sell it at a discount or they sell at a great price. And then you see that pop up, you know, you know what? I've been wanting to read Berserk for a while, or I read the first one. I can pile through and get all, all whatever amount are out right now. I know I have seven on the way, um, but I can actually pile through, get them all done, read them there, uh, rather than just having to buy books as they come out. That stress of where am I gonna put this book? Do I actually really want this book? And that's what my, my one tip for you in dealing with FOMO as a collector is to wait. It sounds totally counterintuitive, intuitive, but wait, just wait. Can you wait a week? Can you wait a month? Can you wait six months? Can you wait a year? Cause is it, gonna, is it gonna be that long before you even get to the book anyways, if it is something you really wanna read. By the time you get to that, then you can go buy it and you can be happy with yourself that you weren't susceptible to that FOMO and that you waited, and that you have the space, the finances, the stress-free of getting the book that you want at the time that you can actually read it. All right, I hope that helped. I hope that made sense. Uh, let me know in the comments, like, share, subscribe, do all those things. But again, comment, because I love talking with you. What are your tips for dealing with FOMO? Have you fallen for it? I know I have. Have you been able to overcome it? Have you never had to deal with it? That seems insane to me. I feel like everyone has to deal with FOMO at some point in their lives. But let me know in the comments. Again, like, subscribe, do all those things. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care.